right, hello everybody. We are here in St. Louis, right off of Del Mar Boulevard, at the, uh, I guess it's a Crown Station. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice that this place had a banner advertising a new touchless car wash. So of course we're gonna come check it out. Let's see what they've got. Well, it's definitely not a new touchless car wash, but this will be my first ProTouch tandem. First time I filmed the tandem system in a long time, too. So, step one, make sure all the windows are rolled up, because that would not be good. Step two, of course, is to pay. And you can see we have our options here. If my zoom lens will work. We have the best for 12, premium for 10, the Deluxe for 8 and the Basic for 6. I wasn't paying attention when I pulled in, but thankfully I can still reach. And I cannot see that screen, like, at all. Please select your payment method. Oh, there we go. Please insert your credit card in the reader below. Okay, so they advertise the best one right off the bat, so I'll go ahead and just pick it. Okay. This transaction has been canceled. I'll go ahead and just get some gas real quick. So what it actually said was that the uh, merchant ID or password was invalid, which knowing what I do about point of sale probably means that whatever like credit card terminal they have internally on that thing was never set up or doesn't work so I should be able to just get a code at the pump real quick and be on my way I need a gas anyway so I might as well have just done this in the first place so I'll be back with you in just a second all right so buying it at the pump did work so at least the credit card terminals out there are set up the right way anyway Let's go ahead and give this another shot. Oh, somebody's actually using it. At least we know it works. Try this again. Please enter your wash code. One, six, two. Six, one, one. The wash is currently busy. Alright, it's still telling me to wait. Look at the wash needs to reset a little bit before it lets me in. There we go. I'm gonna hit the straighten out a little bit here. I'm guessing it's gonna be some kind of underbody right here. We're just a little past April 4th, so I see that sign has been in here for a while. Look at that. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> and that's sliding back. You can see my car is actually pretty dirty right now, so 
be a good chance to see what this thing is made of. So the back arch, I guess, is the one that puts the pre-soak on. Actually, looks like a very nice coating to start, so... And it looks like we're going to start with the top brush cycle. Doing a nice job profiling the hood. A lot of these systems have trouble with that. And you can see we've got this brush now that's starting its cycle. It's an interesting system, just two brushes. Go ahead and turn around. same time with that brush is getting the last side of the car. Interesting. So far so good though. Arch's duties, I guess. Now we got our tire scrubber going. What I love about the tandem is how easy it actually is to see these things working since they extend all the way down from the top. Very nicely done. Trifoam. Maybe a little light on the top, but still looks like a pretty good coating. Now we got PDQ's like signature flash dry going here. Job. 
little bit left on the windshield, but the rest of the car is looking pretty good. What's interesting to me is we still have one thing up there that's not lit up. So I'm curious. Yeah, I guess they just don't have the Teflon sealant. Oops. It does tend to help pull the car out when it's actually turned on. So now we get to drive through the dryers one more time here at my own pace. See if we can get that last little bit on the windshield. For whatever reason, it doesn't like getting that little part in the center. So, you know I tend to be critical of uh, buying the top wash package for anything other than like the purpose of shooting a video, but man, that was quite a wash cycle. Uh, they're really doing themselves a disservice by not having that credit card terminal working on the thing because that was uh, worth every bit of $12 in my opinion. Great experience, it looked like a really solid wash. Uh, I kind of forgot how much I actually liked the PDQ tandem. So yeah, no complaints whatsoever. I'm also kind of surprised what beautiful condition it's in, given that it's not really in the nicest part of town either. So, uh, yeah, absolutely solid car wash. I would highly recommend it. Really hope you enjoyed this video, and that is it.